Welcome back to Real House DIY. Today we're looking at our hot water boiler for our baseboard heat. And specifically, these vents right here. If these are leaking, I'll show you how to replace them. So it's called a Taco 400 high vent. Here's about $10 a piece. It's essentially an automatic hot water air vent and bleeds any air out of your system. So we'll open it up here. This is what it looks like. First thing, if these are, if any of these are leaking, you can just screw the cap down. It might stop or you might have an, another type of leak from somewhere else. But you can screw that cap down tight to stop it from leaking until you can get a new one to replace it. Basically, it's only going to vent air out of your system when it's about uh, one turn open. And there's not too much to look at in here. You can take this cap off. Take this one off. You have a gasket here. that You might have a leak coming from that. Basically, it's a system to let air escape. Could also be leaking from these threads here. So when I install these, I put a wrap of this thread seal tape around the threads. So I basically have four of these. Three of them are at the tops of the of each zone pipe. One, two, three, and then the fourth one is right on top of the boiler. This is another brand from Hydromaster. It's the same exact thing as the Tyco High Vent. This one works just as well. One other location where you might find these is at the corners of your radiators. First thing you'll do, you're gonna turn off your heat for at least a few hours. Wait for your pressure and temperature to go down. This is the lowest that mine typically gets. You know, it's like 12 PSI, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you're gonna shove the water to the system. That's gonna make sure when you unscrew the vent, it's not gonna leak any extra water. Now, if you just go and replace this right now, it will sp spread a little bit of water for one or two seconds. If you don't want that to happen, you could alternatively flip, flip us, this up on the pressure relief valve and let a little bit of water out. Or crack open and closed this drain valve. So now the system is as cool as it's going to get. And actually, you know, this is all nice and cool, barely warm. The one right on top of the boiler will be the, the warmest. So I'll still wear safety glasses, gloves, you need a wrench. I'm going to prepare the new vent to replace right after you take the old one off. The new vent, you want to tighten all the caps on it and put your thread tape around. Loosened it with the wrench. Leak a little bit of water. Screw in the new vent.
Tighten it up with the wrench. And finally, this bleed cap that you had tightened. And back it off one turn. And for this vent, you'll definitely want to wear some eye protection gloves. I mean, with the, the heat off right now, you know, you have the pilot light still going, so it stays a little bit warm. You know, it's nice and, uh, nice and warm, almost a little bit hot to touch it. So, so that water will be, be a bit, uh, bit hot. But as long as you're wearing some safety gear, you'll be fine. I might actually do this one last if you're replacing all of them. And that way there'll be a little bit of pressure relieved from the system from when the water, uh, a little bit of water sprayed out of that one at the top. So then with that bit of water that escaped, pressure dropped a couple PSI. When you open the valve, you might hear some of, you know, a tiny bit of that water get back into the system. Check for leaks, then turn your heat back on. I'll have plenty more videos coming up on boilers and maintenance, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them. See you next time.